and I may present three three minute rounds in the women's featherweight final. Introducing first in the blue corner, she is the reigning European champion and the reigning defending featherweight champion of the world from the kingdom of Bahrain, Sabrina Tassouza! And her opponents in the red corner, she is the 2021 World Cup gold medalist from Norway, Cecilia Bolanta! Your referee in charge of the action, officially here, Scott Manfred. The undefeated reigning champ, Sabrina de Souza, against the 2021 World Cup gold medalist, Cecilia Bolander. Yeah, both these girls bring them of confidence. You can see it as they come in. Oh, wow, look at that. Celia trying to close the distance, but D'Souza just shrugs her off. As we mentioned in the walk-ins, Bulander, a lethal opponent on the ground. Her armbar is vicious. She has scored some very impressive first-round armbar finishes, but how about that striking offense coming from D'Souza? Way big oh. swings here from D'Souza, landing heavy here. You can see she's content with staying on the feet and just throwing Bolander off. Whips there for the hip toss. Blood already coming from the face of Bolander, taking in some heavy shots as we see this double leg entry. Explosive start here in that first round. And Bolander just throwing herself into the fire. Clear underdog here and D'Souza showing why. How about those crazy hooks? Yeah, raining right down rounds. the pain now. It's the Sosa. These have got real power in them, these hooks. She seems like she wants to make a statement here. Blood pouring from the face and nose of Bolanda. But we've seen her come from behind and secure victories despite that. A real Viking mentality from the Norwegian Cecilia Bolanda. So far, she's been quite unsuccessful with her takedowns. Luke, what do you think is the missing ingredient for the Norwegian to be able to get the fight to the mat? Oh, oh yeah. as she gets rocked down to the mat herself, oh. we're in big trouble here. Landing big, big shots is D'Souza. It almost looked like Bulanda was trying to stop the fight or something. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, this could be bad for the Norwegian, but she is on the ground where she kind of wanted the fight after all. Yeah, I feel like she was happy there to go to the ground, and she now looks to lace the legs. DeSouza aware though and shrugs her off. I wouldn't be surprised if we see DeSouza just step back. Bolanda very, very timid on the feet here. Wipes the blood from her nose as the barrage of shots is sure to come in now from DeSouza. And I think that nosebleed is giving Bolanda some issues, perhaps in breathing and rhythm. Big left oh. hook lands. Oh, haymakers being thrown from the champ DeSouza. Yeah, picking her shots very well. Great shot selection. She goes downstairs to the body. Need to see Bolanda earn the respect now of D'Souza because D'Souza's just throwing whatever she wants. Big overhand clips the top off that entry from Bolanda. What a crazy first round. I mean, that was all action from start to finish. Norwegian bloodied up. Yeah, Bolanda is nursing the, some, some big pain there in the face. Bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the eye. R repetitively struck with that left hook. We'll see some highlights here. D'Souza so powerful in her shots. Beautiful level change for that uppercut left hook. And chasing down Bolanda. She charges forward with these big shots, does D'Souza. And she doesn't give any rest she, she throws her shots and then she throws again she doesn't traditionally let you wait for the next combination yeah. that blood dripping down your face it can just sort of be that one little deciding factor that gets you off your game and gets you struck well cecilia has got to come in here and make a change to the dynamics of this fight tough coming through forward no fear from this young norwegian well, she is descendant of the Vikings. We see proof of that here. No quit in Cecilia Bulando. Despite the 
tough task that she's got here. I mean, D'Souza has just been so dominant. I mentioned before that she's defeated Michelle Montague twice. Michelle Montague is also a fantastic prospect, one of the best amateur fighters coming out of New Zealand. Nice oh. left hook, man. Opens up an entry for Belanda. Too slow, not enough there for D'Souza. And I asked before, Luke, but we were cut off by some crazy action. What would Bulando need to do to get this fight to the ground? Because so far, nothing's really working for she her. She needs to earn the respect of Souza on the feet. She can't just look for those haymaker takedowns. She needs to set it up with shots, with feints. She's doing well movement-wise here. Little feint of level change there, but she needs to throw. She needs to earn the respect, but it's hard to do that when every time you throw, you get blasted back from D'Souza. That left oh. hook is just cannot miss with that right now. Oh. Wee, big overhand right. Just misses the head. Haymakers being thrown here from D'Souza. How much can Bulando take? Well, of course, with gold at stake, I'm sure she will give it everything she's got in order to secure the first gold medal at the 2021 World Championships for Norway. I think it's their only shot at gold as well in this competition. So her nation's hopes and dreams riding on this that is correct and they separate once again and of course i don't doubt the conditioning of the souza for a second but that was a pretty tough first round or, or a very sort of energy taxing first round so you've got to be careful to slow down just a little bit that could be all that's needed for your opponent to succeed that nose is really giving Bulando problems. She stopped several times so far to try and wipe the blood off. Yeah, a lot of stress here in the face. You can see in the demeanor of Bulando, just in a lot of pain every shot she receives. Solid leg kick there as well from D'Souza. Probably he's got a broken nose, so all that blood, oh. just that stiff jab is going to hurt so much. And needs to be careful with that guard because she wants to protect that nose. So she's keeping pulling that down now. Maybe looking to try and attack from the bottom. Only 10 seconds left though. Final 10 seconds and it looked like this might have been exactly what Bulando needed. But instead she turtles up and eats a couple of shots for her troubles. Incredible performance thus far. Yeah, from two very de Souza. Two very one-sided first rounds, absolutely, Luke. She's proving why she is the champion. That I mean, beautiful <laughs> fading overhand right. Just that stiff jab. You see how, you know, how Bulan is defending. She, she, she's bringing those hands together. She brings them up and she, she brings them both in front of her face because I think she's so worried about getting hit in that nose again. Mm -hmm. But that just, you can't see because of that. And then if de Souza comes over the top with those right hands, which she has been doing, Two very one-sided rounds in favor of a champion, D'Souza. So it's all or nothing now for Norway. Cecilia Bulanda, can she pull off? A huge upset here in Abu Dhabi. And I mean, credit to her for continually going forward despite the pain that I'm sure she's feeling in her nose. I mean, she's stalking forward, bloody like, like Jason Voorhees, just not backing down. Yeah, no quit in Cecilia. A little bit like you said, stopped around now from De Souza. Maybe just keeping keeping safe. Doesn't want to overextend and maybe get taken down. And Cecilia looks there right in front of us. Gets a little outside reef. A lot of urgency from her. She goes to this judo toss. Pulls her down literally with the arm and sits into the guard. Doesn't want any other stand up, does Cecilia. Wants this fight on the mat. De Souza denies her there. Back on her feet with just over two minutes left to go. Nice stiff jab from Cecilia. Need to see more of that. And of course, it is very discouraging when you're just bleeding that way. You can't sort of take the momentum away from you. You lose that confidence in your striking. Yeah, I don't think she's been able to build any confidence throughout this whole fight from the off. Cecilia. Has struggled to find the range and catch De Souza, and De Souza has been blasting her from everywhere. Big overhand, but opens her up. Nice entry this time for Cecilia. Good defense though from De Souza. 
Gets the underhook high, but going to be difficult to convert this into any sort of a offensive takedown. She wraps her leg. Oh, okay. This is actually a pretty good spot for Bolando. Just over a minute left to work. Could she pull off one of those patented arm bars? True. No easy task against the Souza. Very tight, elbows in great positions. Here she goes trying to flip awareness. The problem is when you become a little bit of a one-trick pony, it's uh, easy to evade. And when you're so desperate now, in the final minute of this third round, oh, big oh. shot. I felt that one right in front of us here at the commentary. Yeah, these are some heavy shots here from the champ. I really like that lead left hook she's throwing as well. It's been money. Okay, let's see. Can we get a, another last-ditch effort here for Cecilia Bulanda? Lost 30 seconds of this three-round championship fight. All comes down to this. This is for all the models. Oh, look at that. She gets her down. And she's got hold of that arm as she got, tries to pull into the guard. Another last-ditch attempt. And now D'Souza obliging with some ground and pound. Yeah, no fear from D'Souza. She knows she's risking it all, but she just wants this finish, wants to put a stamp on this round. Okay, there we have it. Wow, the champ stays dominant. What a performance. I mean, D'Souza, she's just too good. She's too good. That was just so, I mean, I found sensational. I'm, I'm running out of, of, of descriptive words here for this performance. Here we see that left hook. That was probably the best punch for her this entire fight. You know, she put on a, I put on a real statement with that. It, it can't be overstated enough how tough this tournament is. Getting to the finals in itself is a victory. And looking the way that D'Souza did now is truly something even beyond that. With the official decision, let's hand it over to Mr. Ricky Wright. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. For your winner by unanimous decision, and still the woman's featherweight champion of the world from the kingdom of Bahrain, Sabrina Zan.